I think the next question is really talking about what these guys had with them and who was funding them, who was supporting them. I mean, the ties that I've found so far have been to you know very well-funded, hardcore right-wing organizations like the Leadership Institute that both uh, James O'Keefe, the filmmaker, and um, the, this, uh, another guy, the sort of so-called Fifth Beetle, who, whose house they stayed at, uh, Ben Wetmore, both were, are both alumni of this uh, hard right uh, organization that trains young conservatives and various kinds of activists and PR techniques. Um, both Wetmore and um, O'Keefe are alumni of that. Um, there's a large number of right-wing groups. These guys have, a lot of them worked previously for members of Congress, senators. Um, they're really tied into the Republican machine, and what I'm my gut here says, you know, Republican Party dirty tricks mm -hmm. rather than necessarily intelligence. Because Mary Landro, interestingly, is one of the senior members of the Senate Homeland Security Committee. There could arguably, I would imagine, probably are sensitive materials on oh, her computers no and probably stuff being said on her phones. Coming to you, David, about the bigger picture here, and we've only got a few minutes left, but the relation we've all followed over the years the development of these right-wing organizations, ideological groups on campuses around the country, part of the um, new rights effort to sort of compete with student activism in the 60s and 70s and early 80s. Are there relationships that you've been able to track um, between those kinds of political, ideological organizations that get people internships in Washington senators' offices and so on, and the intelligence community funded programs that you're studying in your stories? These intelligence community programs are part of a larger program that includes things like the Pat Roberts Intelligence Scholars Program, uh, the Intelligence Community Scholars Program, and the Minerva Program, in which as public funds are disappearing for universities, these military and intelligence organizations are stepping forward saying that they're doing harmless work and that they want to help and make America smarter. And that what's happening through these programs is that the, the funding stream shifts from publicly available funds to intelligence funds. And that's, that's really changing the face uh, of, of academia mm. right now. Now, that happens to go along with this sort of right-wing agenda, whether it's uh, the same views as Campus Watch and things like that. Uh, but I'm not sure that they're working in concert, but they wind up having the, the same sort of result.